Good morning students. I hope you all are safe and healthy. So let me start with quick introduction. I am Shweta Bhardwaj, your new computer teacher and I welcome you all in online classes for computer activity. I hope you will like the session. Students here in the second slide I have mentioned the syllabus term wise. So in the first term we are going to cover at least we'll try to cover the following chapters. First is computer language, then we will be covering some features on Windows and then Microsoft PowerPoint and then we'll learn how to animate the text and objects inserted in your PowerPoint presentation, how to enhance the presentation. And the last chapter is all about internet. What kind of services are we using on internet? How to surf the web? What is internet? What is www? All these terms. So moving on to the next slide. Okay students, so let's begin our very first chapter that is computer language. Okay, so first of all I'm going to divide this into two individual words. First we will going to learn what is a computer and what do we mean by a language. Okay, you all might have studied in your previous classes that what is a computer. So can you define computer? What does it stand for? So a computer stands for commonly operated machine purposely used for technical and educational research. And we can also say it is an electronic device which takes some input, processes it and then gives us meaningful information. And that meaningful information is known as output. So it is a machine which takes input and gives us some output. Okay students, now next is language. What is a language? We daily speak a language, maybe English or Hindi. So can we say it is a means of communication by which we can interact with each other? We can talk to our friends, we can talk to our teachers. Uh, for two or more people to communicate, they need to use a language and that should be common language. For example, if your friend is speaking in French and you are talking in Spanish, will you be able to understand each other? No. So we need a common language so that we can understand each other. First chapter is all about computer language. So first tell me why do we need a computer language? Because computer is just a machine. Can computer work on its own? Answer is no. So in order to make it work, we as a user has to give instructions to the computer. We have to give instructions either using a keyboard or mouse. So in either way we are communicating, trying to communicate with the computer. So we need a language which computer can understand. Unlike humans, computer doesn't understand English or Hindi. It only understands zeros and one. It cannot understand any other language. So that language which is made up of 0 and 1 is known as machine language or binary codes where 0 means off and 1 means on. So if you type hello my name is so and so in Microsoft Word that will be interpreted as a string of zeros and 1s by the computer. So I have just displayed a picture here you can see whatever you are typing in letters or in numbers is interpreted by computer as a string of zeros and one. Now what is a string? String is a collection of zeros and one. When you put together so many zeros and one together, we call it a string. So before proceeding, I would like you to know that what is a program? A program can be defined as a set of instructions written to perform a task. For example, Microsoft Word. So it is a word processing application that allows us to create and write documents. We have more examples like spreadsheet programs, PowerPoint presentations, which allow the user to perform a specific task. Students next concept is what is a programming language? In the previous slide we studied what is a program. So programs are required for the computer to do some work. We have to give instructions to the computers through programs. So in order to write or develop programs, we need a programming language. For example, if I say write a short essay 
or write a notice in English. You will be using English language. So if you have to write programs for computer, then we need a different language that is known as programming language. We all know that English is a natural language. It has its own grammar, words, symbols, right? So a programming language also has words, symbols and some rules. And the rules of programming language are called as syntax. So the rules of English is known as grammar. Rules of Hindi is known as Vyakaran. And the rules of programming language will be known as syntax. Okay, so here we can see that computer languages are of so many types. And we can divide or categorize them as different generations of languages. So the generations are divided into five. The first generation is known as machine language. Second generation is known as assembly language. Third is known as high level language. Fourth is known as object oriented programming language. And fifth generation of computer language is known as artificial intelligence. Students, in the next session, I'm going to explain all these generations, features, and traits of these programming languages in detail. Till then, thank you. Happy learning. Keep learning.